So, you want to create automatic citations for an article? NU Library subscribes to many databases, which are collections of articles, ebooks, statistics, and other information. Many of these databases can automatically generate a citation for the information you're looking at, which you can then copy and paste right into your paper. We'll show you a few examples using different databases. For the first example, we'll use EBSCOhost, one of our most popular databases. To get there, we'll start at the library homepage, library.niagara.edu. From there, we'll click on Databases A to Z. Notice that EBSCOhost is listed separately as a database, but also in parentheses with other database names. That's because it's actually a database publisher. They publish different databases such as Academic Search Premier, ERIC, and Medline. You can click on any of those database names to select them individually. Or if you click on the listing for EBSCOhost, you'll be able to search all those various databases together at once. That's what we'll do. Remember that if you're using a library database from off campus, you'll be asked to log in with your Purple Pass username and password. On the EBSCOhost search page, I'll enter a search for Social Media Marketing. Now let's say I want to use the first article here and also have EBSCOhost create the citation for me. To do that, I want to click on the article title. This brings up information about the article such as the author's name, the journal it appeared in, subject terms, etc. Let's look at the sidebar on the right called Tools. Click on the one called Cite. And now I can see citations for this article in a variety of styles. Let's say I want APA style. I'll just scroll down a little bit to APA, and there it is. Now I can copy and paste that into my paper or into a citation manager such as Noodle Tools. Let's try another example. I'll go back to the database's A to Z page and go to ProQuest. This is another example of a database publisher. They publish several different databases such as PsycInfo and ABI Inform Complete. Again, you can click on any of those database names to select them individually, or if you click on the listing for ProQuest, you'll be able to search all those various databases together at once. We'll do that. On the ProQuest search page, I'll enter a search for exercise and depression. I like the first article, and I want ProQuest to generate the citation, so I'll click on the article title. Then in the top right corner, look for the word cite with the little quotation mark icon. I'll click that. And now I have citations in many different styles. If I want MLA, I just click this drop down menu and choose MLA 9th which is the latest edition. Now I can copy and paste that into my paper or into my citation manager. Our last example will be from a different type of database. Statista doesn't have articles, but it has survey results, statistics, and other numerical data. Again, back at the database's A to Z page, I'll click on Statista. Now let's say I want information about dogs, so I'll enter that as my search. In the results that come up, the ones with the blue icon are the statistics and surveys, so I'll look at those. How about this one? Preference of dogs versus cats in the U.S. 2017. On the page with the statistics on it, there's a download section, which shows the different ways I can save the data to incorporate it into my paper, but what about the citation? Just look for the little quotation mark icon here. Again, I can choose from a number of styles, so I'll select MLA. Then I can copy and paste the citation into my paper or citation manager. So we've shown you how to get the databases to automatically generate citations, but keep in mind that our citation manager, Noodle Tools, can also be used to create citations. If you want to learn more about it, make sure to see our playlist of Noodle Tools videos on our YouTube channel. Now you know how to generate citations within a database. If you still have questions, feel free to contact NU Library for assistance.